nothing with Printavo. I'm here to show you today how to connect Printavo with Trello using Zapier. So let's go ahead and get started. So first we're going to be in our Zapier. We've already created our account. We're going to click here on make a zap. And what we're going to do here is we're going to set the trigger so that any new invoices that are created in Printavo will create a board for you in your Trello. So here our trigger app is going to be Printavo. So we'll go ahead and select it there. The trigger that we're going to select is going to be new quote new invoice and hit save and continue. Then we're going to go ahead and connect our account. So if we go ahead and click on connect an account, we'll go ahead and enter in our information here. Now you're going to need some information from your Printavo account. Of course the email address that you use to log in. And then the API token. You can go to my account, shop information to view your API token. So we'll go ahead and we have that open here. We're going to go to my account. And then our API token, we're going to generate a new token here by clicking on that link. And we have a new API token. We're going to go ahead and copy and paste that. Go back to our Zapier screen. And put that information in. After we put that in, go ahead and click on yes to continue. And then from there, we can test it just to make sure it's working correctly. And then here we have it as a success. So we'll go ahead and save and continue. And then from here, we want to go ahead and pull in samples. We just want to make sure that it's connected correctly and it's pulling the right attributes, all the right information here. So if we have order A, we can go ahead and just kind of look at the information that it's pulling back. We have the due date, the work order URL, the public URL, and all the information from our orders within Printavo. So we'll go ahead and continue since all of that information looks good. So here we need an action step. So once that trigger hits, it needs to do something. So here we're going to select Trello. What we want to do here is create a board so that whenever we have a new quote or invoice created in Printavo, then it'll create a new board for us. So we'll go ahead and save and continue. And then here we're going to connect an account. It'll open up this window. And so from here, we'll go ahead and hit yes to continue to allow Zapier to access your Trello account. And it's going to bring you to the Trello login screen. Go ahead and put in our information allow the connection, our account shows up and we can test it. It's a success, we can save and continue. And so from here, we're gonna go ahead and set up the information that gets put on the Trello board. So here's some information by default. You have organization here, it's optional, but in case you have multiple organizations that you're working with Trello, you can designate it a specific one. So I created printing jobs. So we'll go ahead and make sure that those go in there. We're going to have the name of the board. So here, this is going to be custom to your shop and how you want the information. But what I prefer is going to be the visual ID, which is going to be equal to the invoice number that you see on the invoice. So I want that to be shown. And then the other information I want is going to be the customer's full name so that it'll show 107-John Doe so that I know that it's invoice 107 and then the customer's name right after it. The description here, again, you can choose as many fields as you want that it pulls from Printavo. So what I want is going to be the URL, and we can keep on adding here for you just click on here. Customer due date is going to be another one I want. And these are all the selections that you can add per the order. So you can kind of go through it, take a look, and see what you need for your shop on your Trello board and be able to see it. And I'm also going to add the public URL so that I have that uh, as a guide to go by. Permission level, this is uh, optional, but if you're going to choose an organization, you can have it as uh, private um, or the organization that you selected or public. We're going to go ahead and just select the organization and then allow any team member to join this board. Uh, we're going to go ahead and say yes, just so that if other people within our shop wants to join it, they can go ahead and do so. We're going to go ahead and hit continue. And then from there, we want to test it just to make sure everything's working. So we'll go ahead and send a test to Trello. And then from there, a test board was sent to Trello just now, so everything was successful. So we'll go ahead and finish this up. And then we'll go ahead and name this as Zap. So we'll name this 
Printavo invoice to Trello. And we'll go ahead and turn this zap on. And that's it. We'll go ahead and see it on our dashboard here. And Printavo invoice to Trello is the one that we have here set up. So as long as this is on, any new invoices that you create in your Printavo will then be created as a job board in your Trello, and it's easy as that. If you have any other questions or any concerns, you can always email us at support at printavo.com. Thank you for watching, and we'll talk to you soon. Goodbye.